with the cows here at Storytime. We're glad that you could join us today. We have here with us them and to you guys. We've got two books in our song that we usually sing, and so we'll get right into it. If you've been here a while, this is a song we often sing, so you can sing. You probably know the cows on the Chomp, 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 chomp. The cows on the farm go chomp, chomp, all day long. Rita the robot, swoosh, 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 swoosh. Rita the robot goes swoosh, 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 all day long. The tractor on the farm, boom, boom, boom. Books today. One is called No Moon, No Moon, and one is called Giggle Giggle Quack, which has some barn animal friends. So this book is called No Moon and No Milk. Look at that silly, silly cow, there, huh? Oh, she does not look like a happy cow. When Rob came to milk his cow one early morning, he found that her udder was dry and her eyes were wet. Martha, you're crying. Are you sick? Rob asked. Yes, sick of being a cow. It's eat grass, get milked, eat grass, get milked. Martha drew in a quivering breath. I want to do more than a cow around in a pasture all my life. Well, where else would you like to cow around? Rob asked as he looked into his empty bucket. The moon, Martha announced. You can only go to the moon if you're an astronaut, Rob said. Or a cows cowsmonaut, Martha declared. I'm not really sure that they let cattle into the space program, Rob said. My great-great-grandmother jumped over the moon. If she can jump it, I can walk it. But I never promised you the moon, Rob said. Now do me more a favor and let down some milk. Martha shook her head back and forth, flinging her tears through the air. No moon, no milk, she bellowed. But Rob knew that there was no way to take Martha to the moon, so he took her to the Venice Beach in Southern California instead. Hang ten, Martha, Rob shouted. Did you know there's not a drop of water for surfing on the moon? Cows don't surf, Martha said. I know, I know, Rob said. No moon, no milk. No moon, no milk, Martha confirmed. But Rob knew there was no way to take Martha to the moon, so he took her to Crater Lake National Park in Oregon instead. Look, Martha, a real Rob said. I'll bet Crater much more mysterious, Martha grumbled. But Martha won't fit into a space shuttle, Rob cried. No moon, no milk, she said. I'm telling you. But Rob knew he couldn't take Martha. Martha, it's the rockets, Rob said. Rockets, where are the rockets? Martha asked, craning her neck. Not rockets, Martha, rockets. And you can bet there's no dancing like that on the moon. I don't want to dance on the moon. I just want to walk on it, Martha wailed. And as she took off down the aisle and out the door, she cried, if you take me to the moon, I'll get there by myself. Rob threw up his hands in frustration and ran after his stampeding cow. When he saw that she was heading for Central Park, he hopped on a bus, hoping to head her off uptown. Meanwhile, Martha caught up to a passel of skaters darting through the park. Excuse me, but could you direct me to the moon? Martha asked. She trotted alongside them. Follow this path, then hang a left at the fountain, the skater replied. Martha mooed her thanks and galloped on. Rob had just gotten off the bus across from the American Museum of Natural History when Martha rounded the corner and came to a complete hoof sliding halt in front of him. 
A science museum, Martha Moan. What on earth can a cow do in a science museum? There's a replica of the lunar surface you can walk on, Rob offered. Martha was already across the street and through the front doors of the museum before Rob finished his sentence. Restrain that bovine, a guard cried as Martha galloped by. I hope this works, Rob said to himself as he borrowed a space helmet from a display case and ran after his cow. I wouldn't recommend that the next time you're in a museum, by the way. Meanwhile, Martha had lost the guard in the domesticated animals exhibit. I swear I saw a cow running through here, a guard exclaimed to the curious onlookers. Do you see Martha? As soon as the crowd and the guard had disappeared, Martha headed for the moon. Rob was waiting for her there with a space helmet. I pronounced the cow that hung across the path to the lunar surface and bowed. As Martha put her first hoof on the moon, she said, One small step for cow and one giant leap for cow kind. Martha had walked all the way over to where the American flag was planted when the guard finally found her. Cow on the moon! Cow on the moon! The guard shouted. Back to Earth, Martha Rob yelled, and they both ran through the museum and out the back exit, leaving the breathless guard far behind. So how was it to cow around on the moon, Martha Rob asked as he squirted milk into his bucket the very next morning. Oh, it was okay, Martha said. Okay, Rob exclaimed, just okay? Yeah, now I know why my great-great-grandmother didn't stop to cow around up there. Why, asked Rob. There's no grass, Martha said. The end. So maybe you have gone on vacation to a science museum or all the way out to the coast or to New York City. There's so many cool places to explore. And our cows behind us, they're actually pretty happy to stay here. They kind of like consistency and don't really like adventures, even when some of them sometimes might accidentally sneak out or something, they usually hang around because they don't actually want to leave the herd and their barn and their food. So even though Martha had a pretty fun, crazy adventure, for the most part, as she learned in the end, she just kind of wanted to stay home and be a cow. So next, we have Barnyard Friends. So here on our farm, we only have dairy cows and some cats, but in lots of fun books, we have lots of different kinds of barnyard animals, like you might find at a petting zoo. So there are some cows that are along in this story called Giggle Giggle Quack. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you and just follow my instructions and everything will be fine, said Farmer Brown. But keep an eye on Duck because he's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave Duck a good long stare and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night. Not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. Giggle, giggle, cluck. 29 minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed and everything was just fine. Wednesday is bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have very sensitive skin. Giggle, giggle, oink. <gasps> Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. Inside the house. <gasps> Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. 
Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note, he asked. Oh, done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Did you see my note about the pigs, asked Farmer Brown. All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on Duck, Farmer Brown asked. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was too busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, oink, giggle, quack. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. Giggle, giggle, moo. Bob was in the kitchen popping corn just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music. The phone rang. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, moo, giggle, oink. Uh-oh. Duck! screamed Farmer Brown. It's for you, Bob. Uh-oh. He's coming back from vacation. Sometimes it is hard as farmers to leave the farm because these guys do have to get milked. They have to eat every day. Thankfully, we have great friends and neighbors and employees that help us so that we can leave the farm sometimes. But going on vacation is a great thing to do. So both of our books today, we're going on trips and exploring whether it's the farmer or the cow that goes on vacation. So hopefully this summer you have had some fun getting to explore lots of cool, interesting places. We're so excited that you joined us today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Read with the Cows here at New Day Dairy. <laughs> Hello. Did I have a